everyone welcome back to Pro Tools 101 lessons here at educator.com this is lesson 8 creating a new session in this lesson we will learn about how to create and configure a Pro Tools session we will start to understand about parameter settings such as sample rate, bit depth and I.O. settings we will learn about different types of tracks creating and naming those tracks very important and then we are going to take a look of our edit and playback cursors and we will view our scrolling options which I kind of sort of uh, mentioned about that previously in the last chapter basically this chapter is really about the information we create in a new session with multiple tracks and it's about how to navigate our way into a Pro Tools session so Pro Tools isn't even actually uh, launched in yet it's um, finder window on our screen so we're gonna go and get the get the Pro Tools if you don't have it on your dock usually that's a good place to keep the application as you know um, there's a couple ways to go and find that one of them is we can go to our uh, applications and Pro Tools would be under Avid and if we go here that's our Pro Tools if you haven't done it yet you can just like go there bring this one directly to your dock or bring this Pro Tools item move to your desktop and then just simply drag into your dock so it will be always there I'm, I'm using the software very quite often and all the applications that I need to use they are there so in order to get that started once it's on my dock quick access so I just click on it and Pro Tools 10 the new edition of Pro Tools now launch in as soon as uh, the software launches in it comes in my screen with a quick start dialog box this dialog box is displayed and this giving us an option for creating or opening a session this is completely um, up to you to view or not if you don't want quick start not come up as you launch Pro Tools just checked down here so this quick start dialog box won't come up but I kind of like to navigate from here too there are four options here we can go through let's go click the session templates I can go up and down here my options there's a basic basic stereo stereo large stereo this is basically creating a session from template and for template I'm under post-production I could be under music and there are different types of templates what are templates templates are basically ready to go uh, files that we can directly open each one of them if we say it's under music blues there are already some existing uh, tracks there that we can just boom ready to go if you're into drum and bass you should check that out if it's into if you're into a house these are under music there is if you're a guitar player 11 rack or guitar would be cool creating these sessions from template so basically it shows you what we see here and you can again go with your up and down uh, arrow to see if it's something for you then if you're a songwriter there are some songwriting uh, templates there guitarist pianist singer singer lower CPU usage yeah you can go ahead and choose one of these if you do something related with the live sound there are some options there whatever basically in your area that works for you there's a bunch of templates that Pro Tools software comes with then as let's leave this one in music we're not going to actually use one of these right now uh, I would like to go down here without clicking I can also navigate this command up and down arrow so if I just do an arrow I go in the window to choose the template options and so forth but if I do command up and down error that actually uh, 
helps me go through these options without the click. So the next one is creating a blank session, which we're going to do. Then there is an opening a recent session option. These are some of the session I've been just like opening. Um, and then finally, there's an open open session option. If we go ahead and click on this one, it will ask me where it is so I can locate. There is a different way to locate the session and so forth, but none of those. Cancel this. So Pro Tools is on. Let's go create a new session. If uh, your quick start is gone and if you didn't ch if you didn't already check there, there is, of course, you know, creating a uh, blank session option will come back with my new session right here. Create blank session. So before we create, since this is not from the template, if I go there, I will get this view again. So my templates are back with this new session dialog box, but I want to create a new one. So I need to choose some parameters here. 